Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. In this module, we're going to be looking at the globe map. Now, the globe map is developed by Microsoft, and it is a 3D visual that allows you to place inside of your Power BI design surface a map that you can actually rotate and look at on a three-dimensional surface. It is uh, very similar to Power Map in, in Excel. If you ever played with Power Map in Excel, you'll see that the interaction with it is very similar. There's a few things missing that you could do in Excel that you can't do here, but it's a very nice visual that you can now plug into your Power BI desktop application. It also allows you to show and visualize two different types of charts on top of the map. You can view either a bar chart, which is what you're seeing on the right-hand side on the screenshot, or you can also view a heat map, which also you're seeing on the right-hand side. And in many cases, you might want to view both. You might want to have one metric that is being indicated by the bar chart, and then the heat map actually indicating something completely different. And you're able to do that with the globe map. All right, so our steps here that we're going to do is we're going to go show you where to go download the globe map, how to then import it, and then how to use it. All right, so the first step for us is to go to the Power BI Custom Visuals Gallery, which is where I'm at right now. You can find that by going to visuals.powerbi.com. That'll redirect you to the site that I'm at right now. And if you scroll down, you'll see that again, there's many visuals you can choose from here. The one that we're interested in this is this one here called Globe Map. And so if you select the globe map, you can then download the visual, or you can download some samples that Microsoft has provided to you. We're going to go ahead and download this visual and use it in our example. Now, once you download it, you can then go over to the Power BI desktop, which I'm going to flip over to now, and then you'll start to pull in some data and actually visualize it on top of the map. Now, in our example, we're going to be pulling in some data that has a population, total wages, and also the number of tax returns that were filed in these different cities. So we're going to go pull in a bunch of city information, and then we're going to place it onto a map. So our first step here is to go get that data. So I'm going to go up to the very top here and select Get Data, and then I'll choose Excel. That's the data source type we're going to be using for this example. And then you're going to go use the file. You should be able to see this file downloadable below in a link below this uh, video. And we're going to select the one here called City Tax Returns. Okay, so I'm going to select City Tax Returns and then hit Open. Now once this launches, this is going to take us into a Navigator pane. And in the Navigator pane, we'll go ahead and select the only spreadsheet we have available, which is called return, Returns Filed, the number of tax returns filed. And so I'm going to select Returned Filed. And we'll select here, and you can see what the data looks like. We have a city and state, we have the state information, and then we have the number of tax returns returned, the population. And then it looks like we also have the total wages. So that's like the summed up wages for each of the cities that we have here. Now, I'll tell you ahead of time, I don't have every city listed here. So if the data itself looks a little off, that's OK. I'm really just trying to get you familiar with the Power BI custom visual, the globe map. Not so much worried about the data. So we're going to select load here and bring this data set into the Power BI desktop. And you can see in my field list that I now have available the, returned, uh, the returns filed showing up here now. And I can choose from all the fields that I have available here. Now, what I'd like to do to start off with is just initially start by bringing in some of this information into a regular old table. So I might bring in something like the city-state. And you'll notice when I do this that it immediately puts it into a traditional Power BI map. Not really what we want to do, but I would point out to you here that Power BI recognized the type of data that we were bringing in and assumed that it should go into a map. Now, for us, I actually want to visualize this to you as a table first. So I'm going to flip this over to a table. And you can see my list of all of the cities, comma, state. And then I'll go ahead and bring in a few other things. Let's say I want to bring in the total wages, and let's bring in the total population is another one here. All right, so I have estimated total population by city, and then I have the total wages for everyone in that city. And so we could be really creative and do some, like a divide function here, and let's find out what the average wages are. That would be something interesting we could do. But for simplicity's sake, I'm going to leave the metrics that we have here, and we'll go ahead and bring this into a globe map. So what we'll do is we're going to go import a globe map here by going over to the ellipses underneath the visualization section here, and we'll import the visual from a file. So I'll go ahead and import a custom visual, hit import again, point it to wherever you downloaded that custom visual. So I'm going to go underneath the custom visuals folder. That's where I've downloaded mine. And there's one here called globe map, and that's the one I want to use for this example. So I'll hit open. I've now imported the globe map successfully, and I should see it appear underneath the visualization section. Now, if I want to use that globe map, say, for example, I want to convert this table to a map, I could just select the table that we have here where I'm looking at the data in more of a tabular format and then select the globe map to convert it to a globe. And you'll notice after a few seconds, you'll see it start, starts to plot out all of the data points. And you can actually zoom in and zoom out. Let me actually make this a little larger here. There we go. But you can actually go in and zoom in. You can zoom out. 
Uh, you can interact, you can move around just by using your mouse. I use the scroll bar to zoom in and out of the map. And like I said, you can also zoom in pretty deep if you wanted to. You can go as far deep in as you want. Now, one of the other ways that you can interact with this map is by focusing or selecting one certain data point that you find on the map. So right now, as I use the scroll bar on my mouse and zoom in and zoom out, it kind of interacts like this. But once I actually select a data point, let's say this one here that looks like it's probably Atlanta, Georgia, and it is, if I hold down shift and click, so hold down the shift button on your keyboard and then click on a data point, what happens is it then focuses in on that one particular area. And then when you start to zoom in and you move around, you'll notice this time when I move around that it now focuses in on that data point. And you can always click and shift to get off of that. But let me try that one more time here. If I zoom around, you can see what it looks like and how you can interact with this and how it really is a 3D map is, uh, is really on display here. So it's a nice way to be able to interact with this. Uh, if I had multiple segments of data that I'm looking at right now, this is showing the estimated population. Uh, actually, this is showing the total wages is the bar. But if I had ways that I split this up and I had categories of wages in here, I would be able to actually drop that into the legend section here, and then it would slice that bar into multiple sections. So it'd be kind of like a cluster column chart there where I'd be able to see multiple segments of that column. You could also plug in latitude and longitude data here. You'll, if you're looking over here in the field well, you can see all the different areas you can drop in more data. So you could drop in uh, latitude longitude. We have already dropped in a bar height, but you could also have a heat intensity, which we do here as well. You can see the heat intensity is kind of hidden behind the bars. But if I remove the bars for a moment, you can see that's what the heat intensity looks like. Okay, so it's showing me right now where the most populated areas are. And then I could always bring back in the total wages again if I wanted to just by dragging and dropping it. Now, again, like I said a few moments ago, you do have that legend section there as well. The legend section is going to be dependent on splitting up the bar that you have if you're using a bar chart. All right. Now, there are a few things you can do to uh, customize the visual here. If you wanted to customize the visuals in some way, you can do that by going underneath the format section here. If I go underneath the format section, there's really only one property here that you can customize, and it's this one here called data colors. Underneath data colors, if you had a legend, which in my case I don't, but if I had a legend, I would then see multiple options here for the different type of colors that I could use for each of the values in my legend. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a legend in here just so you can see this, but just note that the data is not going to make a whole lot of sense. I really want you to see it from more of the tool perspective here. So I'm going to select state, and that's going to add a legend. And you can see here underneath data colors that it allows me to change the color for each of the values here. So I can change the color of the value of Florida to yellow if I wanted to. You can really kind of play around with this and make it so that you can have a data category or a color that you really would prefer to have. Now, as far as the map goes, you can see it doesn't really make sense whenever I did that. It actually messed up the map a bit. So I'm going to unselect that. But I did want you to see that property, really because that's the only main property that you have available here inside of the globe map that you can manipulate. Most of the other things here are pretty standard, like you can turn on or turn off the title. You'll notice the title showing up or turning off up in the top left here. You also have the ability to turn on or off a background. So if I go ahead and expand this and turn on, you can turn on a background color, which you would only see in a small section here. Not, not going to eat up a whole lot of space. By the way, you can see the map kind of going on the fridge. So that's whenever I move over it on accident. I accidentally clicked over it. So you can play around with things like that. You can turn on a background. You can give it a certain color. You can lock the aspect ratio. This one actually might be pretty useful here. If I hit lock aspect, that means whenever I go to resize it, it's going to keep the proportions of the map correct. So if I go to kind of resize this, you'll notice it keeps the proportion. I can't stretch it in an odd way here. So really, really helpful way of using this. Now, uh, you can also do things like underneath the general section, resize it, put it in a certain place on the visualization pane. You can also add a border around it if you want to. It's just a simple border around it. But those last really four to five different properties inside the format section all are normal uh, properties that you can do no matter what type of visual that you're, you're selecting. So very interesting, though, that you can play around with some of these things. Again, it's very interactive. You can use your mouse and kind of go over wherever you'd like. And you also have the tooltip capability. If you hover above a, a city, in this case, on the, in this case, Atlantic Beach, which is really close to where I'm at, actually, you're able to see uh, the details of what that data point makes up here. All right, so that's pretty much it for this visual. This is the globe map. Hope you guys enjoyed this module and look forward to showing you our next custom visual. Thanks a lot.